starting at Trezug, a traditional Ukrainian kitchen with a bit of a, an American twist. When coming here, we would recommend kind of like a simpler menu if you've never been to a Ukrainian restaurant. So we have some potato pancakes here with like a brunch style, some eggs and salmon on top. We have banosh, which I'm gonna put the description of in the history of it because it's pretty interesting. And then we have borscht, which is a beet soup, one of Vernon's favorites. And then we have, of course, the compote, which is, uh, what would you call this in English? And, um, fruit punch. Like a fruit punch. It's made out of uh, dried berries, and it could be also fresh berries. You just boil it, and you can add honey and sugar to it. It's really tasty. So it's a healthy way of starting the, the morning. So I know this ingredient is probably not something most people would like to eat, but borscht is made from beets, like red beets. And um, as weird as it may sound, I don't like beets outside of the soup, but the soup is amazing. And so when you come into a restaurant like this, this is one of the things you have to get. All right, taste test, taste <laughs> okay. test. Oh yeah, that's good. What would you compare it to somebody that's never had it? Like, is it, like what kind of flavor is it similar to? It's very hearty, it has a, um, it feels very healthy. So it's probably <laughs> not something like, uh, it's not something that you're gonna choose on your own, but if you try it without worrying too much about whether you like it, you may end up liking it. So I think it's worth a shot. So this particular one has pork, but you can get it also vegetarian. So they do have a full bar here, and they even make their own infused vodkas, which is pretty cool. Um, but I decided to go with this. Very traditional. Ooh, yeah. I guess it's never too early to drink. Definitely one of the bigger churches in Ukrainian village. For it's relatively new. It's been uh, established in 1969 compared to some other ones that have been here for over a hundred years. I remember coming here when I was in 2002 when I was just a kid. This place seemed huge to me. Uh, it's architecture is very unique for a church. It's based on the uh, Byzantine Empire, the 11th and 13th century style. Museum this month marks that it's been here for 70 years and this is the first time in 20 years I am here and they have a second floor which is more permanent uh, exhibits and on the first floor as you just saw they have kind of more revolving they have music festivals there and they have like new artists emerging artists so it's you never know what you can stumble upon when coming here So here I went with the classic vareniki, or as we call them also pierogies. 
and Vernon went with the classic uh, breakfast option. What is that called? Sirniki, I guess. Um, yeah, Ukrainian pancakes. Um, so when ordering about Enniki, there are a lot of different options you can get, uh, from meat and cheese inside to something savory. Um, to something sweet. I decided to go with something classic and it's the farmer's cheese that Vernon has in his pancakes, but more savory. And these are such a throwback. My grandma used to make these. Chicago Avenue, you're gonna find Anne's Bakery, which is a store that's been here since I can remember. Um, they have really cool products from Ukraine, including one of my favorite drinks called Zhevchik. They come in a variety of flavors, but this is amazing. This is a full-on grocery store. They have ice cream, alcohol, juices, tea, coffee. Uh, they have a bakery that make everything from scratch here, and they also have a different types of fishes. Uh, if you're into fish, they have different pickled uh, herring, different smoked fishes, and they also kind of have like ready-made food, so if you want to pop in here for lunch. We just spotted one of Vernon's uh, favorite sauces. Uh, he loves to add this to everything. So if you ever see this, make sure to check it out. It's called Ajika. I love this as a kid. So it's kind of like a smoked cheese braid and it is amazing by itself or with beer. The ketchups, that is a must try. It's, uh, it's meant for shish kebabs and that type, but it's, it has a, bit, a little bit of a zest, but it is incredible on anything. Like Heinz, um, Heinz is nothing compared to this.